Hello, welcome to JVCTR. Over the next coming days, I'm going to be releasing videos reviewing each type of Sonos speaker. Um, they all connect to the app in the same way, so I thought I'd start off by showing you how to connect a generic Sonos speaker to the Sonos network, uh, and we'll be using this Sonos Play 3 as an example. So, first things first, you'll need to download the Sonos app from the App Store. When you first open the app, you will be prompted to set up a new Sonos system. After being welcomed to the app, you will be asked if you want to set up using the standard setup or their boost setup. If you are using the Sonos Boost range extender, you will need to select boost setup. Otherwise, if you are just using your home network like we are here, select the standard setup. Firstly, power up your speaker until you see the flashing green light. The app will now attempt to connect your speaker. Select the speaker you are attempting to set up, in this case a Play 3, and click Next. You will then be asked to press the Volume Up button and the Play Pause button simultaneously on the speaker so the app can confirm it is connecting to the correct hardware. Once you see a flashing orange light on your speaker, the app will configure it. This can take a little while. The next stage is to connect your Sonos to the home network. You'll be asked to connect to a temporary Wi-Fi network provided by Sonos in order to connect your speaker to the home network. Once connected to the temporary network, the app will ask you for your Wi-Fi network name and password. Next, you'll be asked about the location of the device and asked to give a name to the speaker. We'll call this speaker the Family Room Speaker. This completes the setup of the hardware itself. The next few steps are only applicable if this is your first Sonos device. You'll be asked to register your details with Sonos, provide your location, and asked about your contact preferences. Your shiny new Sonos device will then download the latest firmware and update itself. This can take up to five minutes depending on your internet connection. In the next step, we'll be fine tuning the speaker's sound by measuring how the sound waves are bounced around the room. Sonos call this true play. In short, you'll need to rotate your phone so the microphone is pointing away from you, and then wander around the room, moving the phone up and down in a vertical movement to capture the resonance of the room. Sonos will play some odd sci-fi sounding sounds during the testing. Once the room has been fine-tuned, it's time to set up some music. All music is controlled via the Sonos app and there are literally hundreds of music providers to choose from. For me, it's Spotify. All you need to do is grant permission for Sonos to connect to the Spotify app. Once connected, you'll be asked to name your Spotify account in case your household has more than one account. In order for the apps to work together, you'll need a Sonos account. As you have already provided your details earlier, you simply need to verify your email address and create a password to create a Sonos account. And that's it! Initial setup of Sonos is complete. You can now use the app to create playlists from any of your music accounts, but unfortunately I was unable to include songs from both Spotify and my iPhone in the same playlist. That would be a nice feature. In the settings menu, you can change the EQ of individual speakers, add new speakers, and even set up alarms. The one drawback I found was that you couldn't watch a YouTube video on your device and hear the sound via Sonos. However, I am aware that there are some third-party apps that can facilitate this. So there you have it. That's how you set up a Sonos speaker and connect it to the Sonos network. Over the next couple of weeks, we'll be reviewing the entire Sonos range, so be sure to subscribe and click a like if you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much. <laughs> Cause aside from my soul I